Hello beautiful friends, it's Erica. Today's video is going to be another installment of my Soul Growth series and we're going to be taking a look at Divine Feminine Energy. This is the side of yourself that is much more intuitive, much more emotional, much more flowing, much more receptive. I just finished recording the Divine Masculine Soul Growth video. And if you haven't seen that, do go check it out. It was uh, quite remarkable how the messages came through. So we're going to take a look in this video um, of the different aspects of soul growth for the sacred feminine. This is where the feminine may be shifting from distorted into divine feminine energies. And understanding that journey and that process can help you navigate it better. And um, I leave it up to spirit to figure out what aspect of soul growth wants to be discussed today. And um, if you haven't seen my soul growth playlist here on the channel, I do have one. So go check it out. There are several videos over there already. And with that, I'm just going to get started. Okay, so we're going to take a look at what spirit wants to talk about today for healing themes and soul growth for the divine feminine. First card is the issue. Second is how it's affected the past. And third is how it's affecting the present. And then um, what the revelation and the new learning is here with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Kind of clear here. So what spirit is bringing up is the energy of forward movement, victory, and approach, a sincere offer, because we're getting both the Six of Wands as well as the Knight of Pentacles, which is all about an offer being made. And what's interesting is that the Wands are very passionate, and there's something very public about the Six of Wands, whereas the Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. So what I feel is coming through for the Sacred Feminine lesson here, what that aspect of soul growth is, is wanting some sort of approach, some victory, the masculine approaching the feminine um, that relates to ultimate happiness. And the way it's affecting the present is that with this Page of Swords, which is a, a card of watching from a distance. This can be spying. This can be um, watching you from a distance, not quite engaging fully. So it's almost like I'm hearing fanfare, fanfare, where the Divine Feminine might want something that is, this is so interesting, something that is very majestic, showy, um, celebratory, like there's some grand gesture from the masculine. And in reality, it's probably going to be a heck of a lot more practical and a lot more down to earth than she is thinking. Um, let's get some more here to just confirm what I'm feeling. So it's almost like she knows the masculine is going to make an approach, possibly even a proposal of some kind. Um, she might be thinking that it is going, it's like, uh, yeah, it just feels like I'm just hearing fanfare. But in reality, the revelation and the lesson that's coming through is the Knight of Pentacles, which is a lot more grounded steady, loyal, less showy and flowy. Like this person means business and this person's more, a little bit more into the show. So let's actually get some more cards here for the present. See? Music. Intuition. And perseverance. Uh-huh. So... Again, music coming along with this is more like there's going to be some sort of big dramatic thing. Certainly, there always can be messages coming forth in music. Um, the lyrics of a song that 
are ways that the masculine and the feminine can communicate in the higher dimensions by bringing forth songs and lyrics that strike a chord in you. But to me, this more feels like this is just saying like, yeah, I wanted some big fanfare and here's music. I'm again, trumpets, right? It's exactly what I was hearing. Trumpeting announcements like, and here it is. And in reality, she knows that this is coming. She knows that this making this tangible and, and making this a family. She knows that this is here, but because it's been a bit at a distance in the current energy. And again, this is not, you may have dealt with this in the past. You may be dealing with it now, or you might be dealing with this in the future. This is not time specific. This is an aspect of soul growth that you could have, you could be going through at any time. I just want to make sure that's clear, but it's like, it's been a journey of perseverance for the divine feminine because she knows this has been coming, but it's been long time coming. And then we're getting the 66 card, which is healing. She's, this is the, this is when the divine feminine leaves that energy of distorted feminine where it's about the show and it's about the outward, the outward, um, expression and it comes down to truth to sincerity no longer does she want flash wow okay let's get um the guidance here for the divine feminine and i will be doing an extended just like i did with the masculine where we're going to go more in depth as to the context around this lesson, what lessons she's learned prior to this coming in, what else she's learning related to this situation, how she's growing, how she's responding to these lessons, what light aspects, what shadow aspects, where they're being, where she's being empowered. We're also going to have spirit show you where, what is coming after this point for the divine feminine when she moves through this lesson and has mastered this, what comes on the other side, as well as guidance. So if that's of interest to you, I will, the link will be down below, but let's just get some guidance here to begin with to like, there's that healing card, the magician, the four of swords, the magician and the ace of swords. So really the guidance here is to allow the manifestation to happen. Know that the truth and the clarity is coming. Know that the communication is coming and know that you're going to be victorious, Divine Feminine. But this is about just kind of pulling your energy back a bit and allowing this manifestation to come in because it is coming in. That is coming in for sure. And let's get another card here for the guidance. What did I just say? Manifestation. Spirit is seriously on point. Wow. <laughs> These, uh, this happened in the masculine reading. The energy was very masculine. What was coming through? It was like quick to the point. No, let's just get, get this message out there. We don't have to be all you know, feminine in our languaging. I love it. I absolutely love it. So let's take a look at um, what the overall spiritual lesson is at this point for the Divine Feminine. Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the High Priestess. Trust your intuition. This is about trusting your intuition, enjoying yourself, finding emotional fulfillment on your own, knowing that you don't, not everything's quite been revealed just yet. In the meantime, this is about you getting abundant on your own, focusing on your emotional happiness, focusing on your pentacles, focusing on your life, being kind, having fun, enjoying your life until everything is revealed. You know this is coming. Your intuition is accurate that this is on its way. So just trust it. Just trust it. Mm. 
I'm going to get another card for the spiritual lesson. Your commitment is being tested. See, this is where you may have wanted this, thought it was coming. Maybe it's slower than you expected. You're kind of sitting there. I know it's coming. When is, is it here? Is it here? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's like, no, just enjoy. Be. Be fulfilled emotionally on your own. You are successful on your own and things will be revealed in the right time. You already know it. So you can pull back your energy, allow the manifestation to come in, be open to it. Don't close off to it. But at the end of the day, this is the lesson. Your commitment is being tested to what you know to be true in your intuition. All right, lovely friends. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to head over to do the extended and um, we'll get into a lot more over there. The link is down below and do go check out the other videos in my soul growth series here on my playlist I put together for you. And um, until next time, guys, I send you much love. Bye.